And there's one last way of scaling keys and retiming them. And that is actually something that I wrote when I was working on Gravity. And we've got it over here. We can come over to just the C3D C shelf. If you come over to this keys window, it's only in my newer preferences. We can go into keys down here. A couple of cool little things. Retime with percentage window and retime with frames per second. And this is a very handy thing that is just handy, like a numerical version of this guy here. And it's great for when the editors are giving you uh, sort of values that are, we scale from this point to this point by X amount. That's very good for previews and things like that. And the way that works, you just select your keys, have to select everything in the scene and you can go, well, okay, we've got from frame 39 to frame 57. So you go, frame 39 to 57 and in edit often they'll give you a percentage time so I want that to be 50% slower and then we can hit go and that will scale that section of time there. So that's a numerical version of the retimer, which you're welcome to use. And we've also got a version of that under keys if we right click and go with frames per second. So this is coming from Final Cut where often they would do it in frames per second. Sorry, that's percentage. I've got those named the wrong way by the looks of it. Frames per second, yeah, I've just got to change those names around, so I'll do that for the next release. That's there. You can do it by frames per second from a time, and it will offset, ripple the keys, and do it for frames per second and for percentage.